This is your first day of a two-week workout program. Today we'll sweat a lot during our full body heat workout. Let's begin with a short warm-up. Keep your knees straight and reach all the way down, then stretching back up. Get into a squat position and tap with your feet one by one. Every day we had another fight. I was far too blind to realize that our love had got out of control. Should have known I was better off alone. Now I see when it's out in the light. And I'm leaving your life behind Now I see that you're out of my life I don't need you To bring our heart rate up, we'll keep warming up with jumping jacks And the last interval for warm-up is butt kickers. The warm-up is complete and we're starting our active hit part with plank step toe touch. Keep your hips low when coming back to a plank position. One squat plus a jump squat. Keep the knees aligned with the toes. Now make two reverse lunges while staying in a squat position and then jump as high as you can.
Place the hands behind your head, fix the core and hips, then make deep side lunges swaps. We're moving on with single toe reach. Now get into reverse lunge position and stand back up. You want to move slow and controlled, feeling those glutes. Plank jumps next, fix the core to protect that lower back. Sumo kickboxing next, get into a wide open squat position and make a force with the arms. One bro jump forward and three little jumps backwards. It's important to keep the knees at one direction with the toes to protect the knees. Move slow and controlled, feeling those glutes, back and arms.
toe touch jumping jacks next just like a regular jumping jack but going all the way down reaching the feet Get into a half plank position, fix the core and slowly tamp the shoulders one by one. Squat heel taps. Get into a deep basic squat position and slowly touch the feet from the inside. Skaters plus jump up, make an explosive jump after a lateral jump sideways. Half burpee plus front kick with the right leg. For the best result, try to avoid touching the floor with the right leg when standing up. Now the same for the left leg, engage the abs for a better balance. Reverse push-ups next, keep the arms narrow and point the elbows backwards. Just wanna dance on our own. We came to party 
We keep burning our arms with narrow push-ups. If you're stronger than me, you can do it from a full plank position. Side plank toe taps next. The goal is to move slow and keep the posture clean. Same for the other side, the goal is to move slow and keep the posture clean. Past high knees, just like regular high knees, but pause every third time engaging the abs. Plank swings forward, get into a plank and push the body forward as far as you can. Keep the posture clean and squat down as deep as possible. Same for the left side, the legs are burning but let's keep going. Yeah. 
Now to kill our legs completely, we'll do jump squats with feet taps. Let's relax a bit during next exercise. Leave the hips as high as you can while staying in reverse plank position. Crunch the body and make swaps with the legs without touching the floor. Reach the opposite knee with the elbow. High plank jacks next. It's very important to curve the abs in so the lower back is safe. We keep the sweat with power skips for the right side. Same for the left leg, keep breathing and give your best. Make cross with the feet and then double pulse in a squat position.
Lovers Leg Raise Next Keep the hips tall and move slow Bicycle pulses next. Curve the abs in, the back is straight, and try to not touch the floor with the feet. Mountain climbers to burn our core even more. Bring the knees close to the chest and move as fast as you can. Now get into a half plank position, then make a narrow push up. Bring the hips backwards and stretch the shoulders down. Let's give all we've got for the purpose, just keep breathing. We're slowly bringing our heart rate down with side taps plus a raise up with the toes. And the last exercise for this sweaty workout is static sumo squats plus arms. Make sure to squeeze those shoulder blades as maximum.
Yes, the active heat portion is complete. Now let's get our breath stable, grab some water and finally start our cool down and stretch. Yeah. Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. Inhale deep, bring in the arms up and slowly drop the body down. Hug the elbows under your knees and push the shoulder blades up to the sky. I don't feel too comfortable jumping into something new right now. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just scared to fall in. Slowly release and get into a lunge position with the right leg front. Get up while keeping the back knee straight and drop the hips down. Now bring the left hand to the right foot and twist the torso. Slowly release, drop the knee on the floor and catch the left heel with the right hand. Slowly drop the hymns down. Release the stretch and bring the hips backwards, trying to reach the right knee with the head. Keep the back straight. Now we repeat the same stretch routine for the left leg. Get into a lunge position and straight the back knee. Bring the right hand next to the left foot and twist the torso. Slowly release, drop the knee on the floor and catch the right heel with the left hand. Release the stretch and bring the hips backwards, trying to reach the left knee with the head. Keep the back straight. Release the position and sit down on the floor, opening the legs as wide as you can. Keep the back super straight and slowly make arm swings forward. Then try to reach the tips of your feet with the hands. If you want, you can try to reach the floor with your belly, but be careful. Bring the right arm up and stretch the torso all the way to the left.
repeat the same for the opposite side. That is it, slowly collect your feet and roll up. The workout is complete, it feels just incredible. I hope to see you tomorrow during our day 2 workout where we will do a short cardio session and abs burnout.